Luke 1 and 37. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Maybe seated. Sorry, I forgot. My mistake. Your fault. We can start all over again. Okay. <laughs> For with God nothing shall be impossible. I have read the Bible a few times and I find a place in the Bible that it said they limited the Holy One of Israel. And it was a failure to their life when they limited God. God is limitless. We serve an unlimited God. Imagine the first happening of God on the face of anything. There's nothing except God. How many of y'all know how big the universe is? I don't either. But that was how he started and he began. There is, as far as we can tell, absolutely no limit to the universe that we live in. Our God is an unlimited God. He is unlimited in your vocabulary's ability to describe Him. He is unlimited in your thought process to be able to think like Him. He is more unlimited than Bill Gates' money because guess what? Without God, Bill Gates don't exist. How many of y'all have a problem that's bigger than God? No one does. I don't care if your problem is financial, mental, spiritual, legal, children, marriage, dogs, cats. God is unlimited in His ability to help you. For with man, there are limits to what you can do. Michael Jordan can only jump so high. And he hits the ground. You can only run so fast. And that's as fast as you can go. But do you realize that whenever the unlimited nature of God is whenever you say a word and sound travels at whatever speed it travels, it hits God's ears before it leaves your lips. That's how unlimited God's hearing is. God's seeing is so unlimited. The Bible says He sees a sparrow when it falls. There is not one thing that you've ever done under the cloud of night or the light of day that God has not observed. He has unlimited seeing. Our God is unlimited in everything that He does. He is the God to make anything that's impossible possible. God is possible to do anything. For it was impossible that a man would be born of a virgin, yet our Lord and Savior was born of a virgin by the name of Mary. Oh, a long, long time ago. Amen? Amen. And guess what? It was impossible for a man to die on the cross and rise again on the third day. But I'm going to tell you what, my possible God did it. He's a limitless God. Try to limit Him with death and He'll overcome it. Try to limit Him with boundaries of physics and, and nature. And guess what? My God will overcome it. Because He is a limitless God. <coughs> he was so limitless that after He rose from the grave, He walked out there on the mount one day and He just rose up into heaven. That's how limitless He is. I'm going to tell you how limitless our God is. After He rose up into heaven, He came back unto us as the Holy Ghost and dwells on the inside of us. That's how limitless He is. There's enough of His blood. One drop of His blood can save every lost soul there ever has been and ever will be. That's how limitless He is. The stripes He took on His back is limitless enough to heal you of every sickness and disease and problem. It will free your mind. I'm telling you what I got a limitless God that can deliver you from drugs and alcohol and tobacco and all kind of things. I got a limitless God that can heal your mind from oppression and depression. I got a limitless God that can help you overcome anything. My God is limitless. I like my God. I don't know about you, but He's so limitless, I don't need another one. 
You know, if you ever have a God that doesn't, doesn't have all of His faculties, guess what? You might need to find another one because the one I got, He made it all. The God I got started it all. He said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. My God is limitless. He has all abilities, for with man things are impossible, but with God they are possible. You know, let me tell you something, there's only one thing impossible with God, and that's nothing. You know, when you come to God, something is going to happen. Something is going to change. Something is going to be set in motion when you come to God. Don't ever feel like, well, I'm going to go to that altar and, and nothing's going to happen. Something's going to happen. God begins to move whenever you have enough faith to step out. I don't care how many times they told you it's impossible. I got a possible God. A limitless God. For there was a lady one day and the doctors had wrote her off. Let me tell you something. She said, no, God is limitless. The doctors had said it won't help, it won't work, it's no good. But she knew that God had no limits. And for what is impossible for man is an everyday happening for God. He's able to do it without even dropping sweat off of his brow. Can I tell you something? God's able to raise up a brand new... You know, you're worried about... We're worried about killing off all of the, all of the, all of the sharks or all of the tuna fish or all of the, the, the uh, hoot owls or something like that. Can I tell you what God can do? God can speak a word and we can be overrun with them in 30 seconds. You see, we serve a limitless God. Do you realize that your finances, your, your situation and your, on your job, we have a limitless God. Don't look at it and say, well, I work at McDonald's. I can only make $3.50 an hour. I got a limitless God that can turn it all around in the middle of nowhere. All of a sudden, wow, there it is. I got a limitless God when the doctor has wrote you off like he did with that little lady. The Bible says she had an issue of blood. How many of y'all got issues with your blood? Amen. Think about it. The Bible didn't say she was oozing blood. Man, the things that people have made up about that poor little woman. The Bible didn't say she was unclean. It says she had an issue of blood. My uncle's got an issue of blood right now. It's called leukemia. Can I tell you something? That's an issue of blood. Doctors say there's no hope. I got a God that says he's, He can do anything. Everything is possible with God. He's a limitless God. I don't care what's wrong with you. I don't care what your problem is. But that little woman with the issue of blood, she says, if I can get to Jesus, He's limitless. Where the doctors cannot, it's impossible with them. My God is limitless. We need to get enough guts up to step out on faith and say, if I can get to Jesus, everything's going to be all right because there's nothing that He cannot do for me. Hallelujah. I've told you about it, brother, before, but old brother Tony, he found the limits of the hospitals. Screws in his feet, wires in his feet. Nothing else they could do. He walked into a church service on a Sunday night and met a God that's able to do the impossible, who did surgery on him, took the screws out of his foot, walked, and the, and the VA hospital has got the x-rays to prove it, that God cleaned it up, gave him a new foot, gave him new bones where there was no bones. I'm telling you what, we serve a limitless God. But how about Brother Ricky? Brother Ricky had found the end. Since he was a child, he couldn't run, couldn't play, couldn't do anything. Because he broke his feet and his legs and his arms and his hands. He broke in more bones than he could remember because he had a problem. Just to move, it hurt because his bones had shears on it. It would rip into his muscles. But on a Sunday night, this man hobbled down to a front altar and said, I believe in a limitless God. And within 30 seconds, he was jumping up and down and running around that building on toes that had been broken so many times, just barely even trying to walk. And God healed him completely with no more pain. Why? Because for with God, all things are possible. 
I'm telling you what, I got a limitless God. I've got a limitless God that before this night is over with, it doesn't matter what's wrong with you. If you can but believe, God can change it no matter what. For they had tied up the lunatic on the, uh, on, on the uh, uh, land of Gadareans and they had done all that they could to bind him. But guess what? He was so wild, man. He was so full of devils and he couldn't contain himself. And let me, and they couldn't contain him. He would run naked through the, through the uh, graveyard and all this stuff. And guess what? When Jesus showed up, a limitless God. I don't care if your name is Legion because you got a thousand devils. I got one God that can whoop every devil that ever was created. I got one God that can deliver every evil situation. I got one God that can set you free from every torment and every trial. I got one God that can walk you out of all of the prison cells of this world and walk you right into the peaceful mindset. I've got one God that can do it. And He's not limited by man's imagination. He is not limited by anything because He is an unlimited God. That's why in the Bible says, Hear, O Lord, the Lord our God is one. Why? Because that one is all you need. One is enough. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God, Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. I got one God that's able to do it. I may have a thousand needs, but my one God's bigger than every need. You know, I got a God who walked up and moved on a prophet and he went over to see this little lady and everybody was hungry and that little lady what are you doing I'm going to make me one more little cake for me and my son and when we eat it we're gonna lie down and starve to death and die that prophet looked at her and says I tell you what make me a cake first you don't understand preacher that's my last cake don't you know who I, you know, oh, 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 Elijah, don't you know who I serve? I serve a limitless God. Amen. The Bible says when he did that, the oil never stopped. The, the, there was always there. Everything that she needed, it never stopped. They ate all they ate and they got fat and happy and all that kind of good stuff. Why? Because God's a limitless God. He doesn't limit himself to time. Because he started time, he'll finish time. He doesn't limit himself to space because if he needs some more room, he'll just make it. I'm talking about a limitless God that can change your world tonight. Do you have any faith in a limitless God? You see, there's something about it. A limitless God can have all of the ability to do it, but we got to believe. And our faith, though, makes all the difference. But I'm telling you what, if you can just open the door to a limitless God, there's no telling. There's, you are the only one that will stop God. He can do anything for you right now in this hour. The Bible says, whatsoever you ask of me, I will do it. Whatsoever you ask in my name, I'll do it. Why did he say that? Because I'm limitless. The Bible says if you have faith the size of a grain of mustard seed, you could speak into this mountain and say, Be thou removed and cast into the sea, and it would obey you. Do you have that much faith tonight? Is your problem smaller than mountains? I don't know about you, but some of my problems seem like they're pretty big, but it's only between my ears. Because when I look at my problem compared to my God... I don't have to live with my problem because God's big, but because God's so big, He can fix my problems. I'm telling you what, has, has God ever answered a prayer for you? Raise your hand if He has. Can I tell you what, the same limitless God that answered, answered that small prayer for you is the same limitless God that's here tonight. And He said, whatsoever you ask in my name, I will do. I'm going to tell you what, I serve a limitless God that I done found out a long time ago. When I go to Him and ask Him to heal me, He heals me. He's a limitless in mercy. The Bible says His mercies are renewed daily. Do you know why He healed me? Not because I deserved it, but because He was merciful. Because He loved me. I'm going to tell you why He'll heal you tonight. It's because He loves you. Because He died for you. Because He had you on His mind from beyond the beginnings of time. He is so limitless. His ability to love you started before you were ever thought of. God is limitless. But I'm going to tell you what. I've got a God that's so limitless in His mercy that I am not afraid to ask this question of myself. For when I need healing, is God limited? Absolutely not. If God won't heal you, He's not worthy to be God. But my Bible says, by His stripes ye are healed. 
Because I love you enough that if I can heal you, I'd heal you. I don't care what's wrong with you. And His love is greater than my love. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. I might give my kid to go mow your grass, but I ain't going to kill him for you. But that's how much God loves you. I'm going to tell you what, He loved you enough to take stripes for your healing. He loved you enough to come to this earth. I'm going to tell you what, His love is limitless. And by His love for you, He will perform a miracle for you. It's not hard for God. There is no limit to His miracles. Just because somebody on this side gets a miracle and somebody on that side gets a miracle doesn't mean somebody in the back end can't get a miracle. God doesn't run out. He's limitless. His love is limitless. He loves each and every one of you more than you could ever imagine. If you want it all from God that you, He would offer you and give you, you can't contain it within your brain what all He has planned for you. You didn't get that. I said if you wanted all that God wants for you, you can't even fathom it in all of your imaginations. That's how limitless God is. Because if God does a hundredfold blessing in your life, He wants to give you a thousandfold blessing. And as soon as you receive that thousandfold blessing, He's got a ten thousandfold blessing right there behind it. And as soon as you get that ten thousandfold blessing, He's got a million blessing for you. I'm going to tell you what, God wants to do more and more. He is a limitless God. You have never reached the end of what God can do for you. You can sit down on the computer and start surfing the internet and at some point you're going to come to a place that says the end. Not with God. Read the book of Acts. Whenever you read the book of Acts, start in Acts chapter 1 when God rose from the uh, 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 up into heaven, ascended up into heaven. The saints came back into Jerusalem, had a Holy Ghost outpouring. They began to do the work. Miracles, signs, wonders. People got the Holy Ghost. Great things happened. Sick people were healed. And guess what? There is no the end in Acts. Because we're still performing the Acts of the Apostles. We are still the Apostles on the face of the earth. We're still doing it. God's still doing it. He's still alive because He's limitless! You believe in a limitless God? I want to ask you a question. What can God do for you tonight to show you that He's limitless? If you were to write it down Put it on a piece of paper. What would you write? It's in the bag, by the way. What would you write down? God, I need you to do this. I got a deaf person in here tonight. Anybody got a deaf ear? You totally deaf in one of your ears or no? I'm serious. I'm, 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 okay. Anybody totally deaf in one ear or both ears? Okay, that's fine. I, 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 the Lord didn't tell me it was for tonight, but I, I did something. I'm, I'm waiting for a deaf person to walk in here. God's got a, a, a cool miracle. I'm gonna, uh, God's going to do something cool. But I'm going to tell you what, it doesn't matter what's wrong with you. That limitless God. You've been carrying things around. You've been carrying situations around. Right now, God is able to do it. I'd like for you all to stand just for a second. We're going to have a word of prayer. God's fixing to show you how limitless He is. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let your faith touch the hearts of each and every one. I'd like for you to pray with me along these lines. God, I believe that you're limitless. I believe that there is nothing in my life that you cannot fix, that you cannot heal. There is no problem that you cannot solve. There is no need that you cannot meet tonight, God. And I'm coming to believe and receive from you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you, Jesus. God, I ask you to honor the faith of each and every one tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you may be seated. Anybody need a miracle tonight? Need God to do something for you? Why don't you come on down? Let's, we're going to pray for you. God's ready to do it.